This week, I noticed realistic lighting overhaul and enhanced lights and FX had been ported over to Skyrim Special Edition, and I was massively curious as to how well they worked on the new version of this game. So I gave them a quick head-to-head -head battle to see which of these mods I'm going to use. Now before we look at the lighting mods, I did promise last week that I was going to be looking at mods that changed the mountains, those horrible looking mountains that I hate so much. And that is actually what we're going to do first. I found quite a lot of mods that change these and I still haven't quite made my mind up as to which I prefer. Now, ideally, I would just find one texture pack that would replace all of the textures in the game and make them look a lot better. And there are already some texture packs out there that do seem to be heading in the right direction. So, for example, there was SSE Osmodius, there was Skyrim 2017 and Skyland, and the latter just changes the landscape textures. But for this video, I really am only interested in the mountain textures, and SSE Osmodius doesn't have those yet. It is going to get them, apparently, but it doesn't have them yet. So, I'm just going to be looking at Skyrim 2017, Skyland, and two of the mods that change just the mountain textures themselves. Although I will return and look at texture packs in general at a future date when they are a little further along in their development. Now, of course, the big problem for me with the vanilla mountains is the fact that they look fake. They look drawn. I, I immediately noticed this when I started playing it. And mods like Skyland and Skyrim 2017 change this quite dramatically by darkening the mountains and making them look a lot rougher. But they didn't really work very well for me because I found myself, well, my eyes being drawn to the mountains constantly. There's something about the textures towards the top of the mountains that bothered me. And it, I think it's the the tightly packed striation effect and this this just really was not working i also tried a mod called real mountains and this had a similar effect but not as pronounced but there was an eroded version of that mod that i actually found very very interesting indeed and it actually works and i suspect it's because it softens the texture and Textures on objects that are quite distant perhaps should be a little softened. They shouldn't be as harsh and as detailed. However, the mod that grabbed my attention the most is one called Blended One Mountain. And the surprising thing about this is it really doesn't change the vanilla texture very much. It looks almost identical, actually but it seems to have a little extra roughness, a little noise added to the texture. And although it's not a huge change, it makes a big difference to how fake the texture actually looked in game. It might be hard to notice on the video, but in game, I found it made the mountains look more real. They just looked more real. They looked very similar, but they looked less fake. So right now, for me, it's a choice between Blended One and Real Mountains Eroded. The lighting in Skyrim Special Edition may have been improved over the original, but the interior lighting is still somewhat bland, boring, and let's face it, not very realistic. And a big reason for this is Probably the vast majority of the light you actually see in any one scene is ambient light. This is light that is not coming from a light source. It just kind of exists. It doesn't cast shadows, it doesn't look very realistic, but it does make it a lot easier for you to see without a torch. But there are two very popular mods for Skyrim that will change this. One is called Realistic Lighting Overhaul, or RLO, and the other is called Enhanced Lights and FX, or ELFX for short. Both of these mods have a rich feature list, but probably one of the most important things they do 
is remove the ambient light and replace it with realistic light sources that give off deep and dynamic shadows. You can see in this scene, for example, the shadows will dance around on the wall. Both mods do this in slightly different ways, but the effect is, well, it is massive. It makes a huge difference to how realistic the scene looks. This really does emphasize the importance of light sources now. You will find well-lit areas near fires and candles in stark contrast to the deep shadowed areas far away from any lights. Whilst both mods do something similar, there are some noticeable differences, and I'm not talking about just in, in the deep in the features, but you can immediately see a difference. RLO's lighting seems to be a little more clear and natural. ELFX seems to be warmer. It looks a little more yellow, and you can see a, a massive difference in the smoke levels. ELFX really seems to amplify the smoky nature of fire and candles. Indeed, candles give off wisps of smoke, which looks very cool. Which is best is going to come down to personal taste, what you prefer. Both mods also change the lighting depending on the time of day, which doesn't actually happen much in the vanilla Skyrim. If you look at this scene, this is vanilla Skyrim during the day, and if you look at it during the night, there's very little change. Now look at the same scene with RLO during the day, and now at night, and as you can see, there is a massive difference. The same is true for ELFX. The light coming through the windows makes a massive difference. Now, you can clearly see that it is daytime outside, or of course, nighttime. And the same is true inside dungeons. In places where you can actually see the night sky, it makes a big difference if you are using this mod because, for example, with the vanilla lighting, there's almost no difference, again, between night and day. With RLO and ELFX, there is a noticeable difference. The dungeons have been overhauled as well, so they look a lot more sinister, a lot creepier, and yes, a lot more realistic. And unlike with the vanilla Skyrim, and let's face it, in vanilla Skyrim, you can just get away without a torch or night vision. It really isn't a problem. If you're using one of these mods, you may need to bring some torches with you. RLO does make it a little harder to navigate and find things in the dark, and ELFX really makes it quite tough. In fact, there is actually a hardcore setting for ELFX that makes it so that the dungeons are ridiculously dark, going as far as actually to remove certain light sources, so there are entire sections where it is pitch black. You're going to need a torch, which is very realistic. As to whether you like that, that's going to be up to you. Do you want a creepy, terrifying experience? Now, you may be wondering which of these mods is the best. I'm using air quotes there, and the answer is neither. They are both exceptionally good mods that do exactly what they say. They both have way more features than I've shown you so far, and you should really check out the difference on the pages. As to which is going to be the best for you, that will come down to personal taste. I like different aspects of both mods. ELFX will make it a lot tougher in dungeons. It is darker, but it does add all those cool, nice, smoky effects. RLO's a little easier when you're in dungeon areas, and it has a more natural and clean-looking light. I also quite like the night sky in places like Bleakfall Barrows. Both of these mods are great mods, and they are both a massive improvement over the vanilla game. Either of them, to be honest, will make your game look great, and if there were only one mod available, it would be very easy. You'd be talking about this like it was one of your favorite mods. The fact that there's two to choose from makes it a little harder, but in a good way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all we have time for in this video. I don't actually know what I'm going to do next time because there are several things I would like to look at, and I know 
probably several more things will pop up in the meantime. But whatever it is, whether it be a lighting mod, which is kind of where I'm leaning at the moment, or something else, I hope you can join me for that video. I look forward to seeing you there, and until then, remember as always, have fun. If you're curious as to whether I've covered a mod in one of my videos, feel free to go along to my website, gophersvids.com, and check the search functionality out. Just type the name of the mod you're interested in, open up the settings, and filter by mods only. Click for search, and you will see whether or not I've covered that mod. Click on the mod, and it will also show you any of the videos this mod appears in.